All right. So uh, what if we have a different example that maybe is not just so straightforward? Uh, that's when you might want to break out the good old integrated rate law. Okay. So let's talk about plutonium. Plutonium. Plutonium-236. Plutonium-236 is an alpha emitter. Okay, we know what that is. With a half-life of 2.86 years. If a sample initially has 1.35 milligrams, what's the mass uh, after five years? Okay, so we got 1.35 milligrams, half-life of 2.86 years, five years. It's not one of the, it's not going to be one of those whole number types of problems where you just do uh, back then. Well, you could figure out what fraction of a uh, or what uh, amount of five years is in terms of half-life, but usually that's when I just break out the good old integrated rate law and sub t. N sub zero equals negative KT. In tandem, we are also going to need that rate constant. It gives us the half life, and so we've got half life equals 0 0.693 over the rate constant, or we just flip it, rate constant. 0.693 over the half-life. Zero point six nine three over what's the half-life? Two point eight six years? All right. Two four two. Zero point two four two. What are my units? Years. Years is on the bottom, so it'll be one over years, or we could just write it as reciprocal years. Years to the minus one. One over years. All right, so now that we got that, we can solve. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? What mass of uh, plutonium 236 is present after five years? So, what variable in this? N sub t? All right, so I've got to. Isolate that n sub t, but there's a big old natural log right in front of it. How do I get rid of that big old natural log? The e. So I need to exponentiate that e, and I do it to both sides. And so now that natural log cancels out. And so now I've got n sub t over n sub zero equals e to the negative k t. And then I'll just multiply both sides by n sub zero. All right. So n sub zero e to the negative k t. And so what is my n sub zero, my initial amount? 1.35. And then times e to the negative k, which we just calculated is 0 0.242 reciprocal years times 5, 5.00 0 .00 years. And the years cancel it because that's 1 over years times years. And so that enables you to use whatever unit of time you want, depending on how you know, stable the estimate is. You might use seconds, years, whatever you want, days, hours, as long as you use the same in your rate constant calculation and your first integrated rate law, they'll cancel out. No, I, I usually, all right, there we go. So what is my n sub t? 403? 
What are my units here? Milligrams. So whatever you start out with your initial amount, that's why we can use amounts. We don't have to worry about molarity concentration. We use grams, milligrams. We we'll even use like uh, um, decay units, disintegrations eventually. So we started out with 1.35 milligrams. Now we have 0 0.403. Does that make sense? Yeah. Should it go down? Yeah. yeah, so it's decaying. So yeah, they're going to go down. So if you ever uh, get a larger number, that's one way to check uh, your answer. Yes? 